Today I'm going to go over a couple different portions of World Book Online. So there's two ways to get to it. One is by going through teacher websites and using my website and it'll be a link. But you could also just type in World Book Online into your browser.com. It'll take you, if you have a login page, I don't because I was previous logged in, it would be washav as the username, W-A-S-H-A-V-E, and the password books, B. O O K S. So I wanted to go over the early world of learning. We have access to all five of these through that login, but early world of learning is great for younger students. There's different activities that they can do. There's a read section, know it, play, watch, print and do, and classics. I'm just going to run through them really quickly. If we go through read, they get two choices and it doesn't matter what you pick. I'm going to pick the first one here. Trex Travels. Through it, there's all sorts of different books that they can select. It also offers them in Spanish to them. There's different games on the bottom navigation bar, play, there's a little video, there's photographs they can see that are all related to that book. And I'm going to pick Trek Learns About Time here. You'll notice that the pictures and the videos at the bottom change due to the book. If you click on open, it opens it up and students can just play it and it'll read it to them through that, or they can use the arrow to move the book along as needed. When they're done, they just X out and they're brought back to that same thing. To get back to know it at the top, you can just click it on the top right there. To get back to the main screen, you can always click this early world of learning here in the top left underneath world book. If you go to know it, this is where they can learn about these 11 different things. If I choose one of them, Animal Safari, there's different animals they can learn about. Again, there's videos and photographs at the bottom that have to do with each one. If you click open, the question marks read it aloud to them. So for this, you would just click, it pops up as a caption and it also reads it to them highlighting word by word. They can play and it'll play all things at once or they can go forward and it'll take them to another animal where they can do the same thing. If you click on it's a fact, pops up a nice little fact. This one is not read aloud though. X out, X out again. That was read. If you go back to read, it's there. If you, that was know it, sorry. If you go back to know it, this is where you can navigate and start over again. If you go to play, there's four different games. Put the story in order, which is sequencing, concentration, matching, multiple choice, and sorting. So if you click one, I'm just going to hit sorting here. It gives you different choices of games. If you click on one, it reads the directions aloud to you, and then you would just sort by the pictures. Xing out takes you back to that. The back arrow takes you to where you choose the game again. If you put the story in order, I like that because sequencing is a great skill for kids. Different books. It reads it out loud. If you hover over top of the square, it reads that one out to you. And then students can just grab it and move them and put it in order and check their answers. If they hadn't read that story yet, they can click on read the story where they'll first read the story and then they can go back and do the game. Print and do is for like coloring worksheets. Um, that have a lot to do with the books that they've been reading. Another cool thing about that is that they can be translated into Espanol or Spanish when you print it out. Go, you can get to classics from down here and then you have more choices there. There's Story Corner where they read classic stories to you, Nursery Rhymes where they read them to you, and then there's songs where they have a picture and then a song as well. And you hit open it's all relatively easy. They use the same icons, which I like. The best thing to do is just put the kids on it, I think, and let them navigate a little bit and wander around. Uh, again, go back to early world of learning and it'll take you all to those headings. So this is all under World Book Online, the same password. It's just the early world of learning section. That was on the World Book main page. To get back to that too, you can go down to World Book Products at the bottom, World Book Home. And there it was, the early world of learning is the one with the earth. I hope you find some things that you can use with your kids. I really think they'll enjoy it.